Dr. Whipple, before the break, you were telling us about the importance of dreams. Yes, our dreams generally show the kind of lives we secretly want to live. They're <sighs> often about the world the way we wish it could be. He's right, you know. I sometimes dream about being a superhero. Strong, smart, invincible. Uh, what do you dream about, Garfield? Uh, pasta, mostly. There he is. The test subject for my latest invention. And he doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> Doctor, is there any way to control what others dream about? No, that's impossible. No, it isn't. I can do it. My new invention can do it. We make our own dreams so we control our own dreams. I suppose if someone could control the dreams of others, that person could rule the world. Yes, I can and I will. I have only two dreams. One is to rule the world. Is that asking so much? Nathan, it's past your bedtime. Go to bed. Oh, and before you do, take out that garbage. Duh. Yes, Mother. I'll be in bed just as soon as I finish my homework. And my other dream is to never, ever again be told to go to bed or take out the garbage. Perfect. He is, as he so often is, sound asleep. I'm gonna give that cat the worst nightmare he has ever had. But first, to lull him into a false sense of happy, I will give him a good dream. <laughs> the best dream he has ever had in his life! <laughs> Thank you for letting me sleep for several days, John. Oh, what's for breakfast? I didn't know what to make you for breakfast, so I just made infinite lasagna. Infinite lasagna? That's like almost forever. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Enjoy it while you can, cat. <laughs> and remember, Garfield, there's plenty more where those came from. I remember. I remember. I have the results of your checkup, Garfield. Everything's great. Go on eating everything you want. In fact, you could stand to gain a few pounds. <laughs> huh? What's that, boy? You want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it? You never want me to throw the stick so you can fetch it? Never again? <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. And no throwing the stick. I won't have to throw the stick. Garfield, we want you to know. They'll never dress you up in women's clothing ever again. Oh, and sorry about the bridal gown last Tuesday. Although you did look stunning in it. Huh? Hi, Garfield. From now on, I'm going to save you the trouble of tormenting me. I'll just deliver your mail here. <laughs> then I'll throw myself into a mud hole. <laughs> bravo! Bravo, Arthur, Arthur! Boy, great things are happening to me all of a sudden. I wonder what other dreams of mine could come true. Cat, I'm a very rich man. I have a large sack of money, and I don't know what to do with it, so you might as well have it. Here. <coughs> Ouch. Works for me. Garfield, <laughs> I'm going to give you and your show a rave review. It's so funny and exciting. Oh, and this dream sequence is absolutely brilliant. I'm going to give you four stars. <laughs> and Ivy. Garfield, I just wanted you to know, since nobody likes me on this show, I'm quitting. And I'll never be on here again. Goodbye forever! Oh, now that you got rid of her, five stars, maybe six! I'm coming huh? to you live from downtown, where every attractive female for miles around is flocking to the cutest cat in the world. Normal's here? Oh, wait, this is my dream. 
It's me. <laughs> From miles around, they've come just for the chance to be near him and perhaps pet him. He's so adorable, I think I'll join them. Hey, wait for me! I saw him first! Whoa, well, hey, don't push, ladies. There's enough of me to go around. And if there isn't, I can put on a few more pounds. <sighs> well, I might as well admit it. Garfield is much cuter than I am. I guess he's always been, and I, I just didn't want to admit it. I'm sorry, Garfield. I'm sorry for all the grief I caused you. I'm sorry for all those times I woke you up. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the bragging I did about my silly and meaningless awards. I'm sorry for all the times I was so obnoxious that you had to put me in a box and just spend all that money mailing me to Abu Dhabi. I'll make sure you never have to do it again. <laughs> I'm sending myself there, and you'll never see my not as cute as I thought it was face again. So long, Nermo. If you see Aunt Ivy, tell her not to come back either. No more, huh? Nermo. Oh. Eight stars. No, don't no, no, make that ten. Oh, just take all the stars and the box they came in. All of you, get away from him. I saw him first. Oh. Early. I finally appreciate how wonderful you are. Well, I've been telling you that for years. Garfield! I have a few hundred of pizzas here I don't know what to do with. Would you mind eating them? Oh, for you, Vito. Anything. Oh, I take back every <laughs> bad thing I ever said about you. Even that remark about your stomach looking like an overinflated basketball. Can you possibly, possibly forgive me? I'll consider it. Right. Enough of the good dream. Time for the bad dream. Nathan, bedtime and garbage. Duh. In a moment, mother dear. Right now, bad dream time. Welcome to your worst nightmare, Garfield. <laughs> I know I'm an adorable, adorable cat. But you don't have to give me such expensive gifts. Oh, John, John, what's for breakfast? Raisins! From now on, you eat nothing but raisins. Raisins? Raisin pie, raisin sandwiches, raisin bran without the bran, raisin chow mein, raisin tacos. Oh, but I am making spaghetti and meatballs. Except that instead of the spaghetti, I'm using raisins. And instead of the meatballs, I'm using raisins. <laughs> I checked out your diet, Garfield. It turns out what you should be eating is absolutely nothing ever again. <laughs> no, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. No, I will. Yeah, you get the idea. Garfield, remember that sack of money I gave you? Oh, this one? I forgot to deduct taxes from that. Here, this is what you get to keep. I am going to take that and put it towards your pizza bill. <laughs> oh, how could this nightmare get any worse? Kitty well, cat! That's how. <laughs> And that's zero stars. And your stomach does look like a basketball, an overinflated one. I've got to get out of this nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get out of it. It's in your head, and as long as my machine is working, that's where it will stay. Nathan, <laughs> skip the garbage for tonight, but go to bed. Yes, darling mother. All right, all right, I'll go to bed, but Garfield's nightmare will continue. 
This just in, the city has voted to ban lasagna and to declare that from now on, every day of the week will be Monday. I've got to get out of this nightmare and these clothes. Hey, Garfield, I've got some packages for you. Hi, Garfield. I'm back. Hi, Ooh. Garfield. Hi, Garfield. I'm back. back. I got you back. Ah! Ah! No, no, things could not get any worse. Wait a minute. Every time I say things can't get worse, they get worse. See? I'm back too. And from now on, I'm gonna be in every episode. <laughs> when will this nightmare ever end? It will when you want it to. Don't you remember what I said? We make our own dreams. Yeah? So we can control our own dreams. In your case, here's what you need to do. Uh, Nathan, that evil boy genius across the street? I should have known. Thanks, Dr. Whipple. Don't mention it. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> You know, this is a lot more entertaining than half the shows on TV. Now this is the ultimate dream.